Welcome. What causes erection of the penis? Erection is the hardening of the penis. This is the configuration of the penis. This is the root of the penis, highlighted in dotted red. And this start to the root, we have the body or the shaft, which is highlighted in dotted green. At the terminal portion, we have the glass penis or the tip of the penis. And this is highlighted also in dotted red. If you take a T section of the body of the penis, this is the kind of presentation that you see. We see longitudinal muscles that are arranged in this configuration. So you have two types of muscular bands. We have the corpus cavernosum, these are the corpora cavernosa. You have one on the right and one on the left. And inferior to the cavernosa, you have the corpus spongineosum. And this is the corpus spongineosum. This can be represented with the spectacle and also the nose inferior to it. And these muscular bands are made up of erectile tissue, which are spongy in nature, which means that within them we have spaces. And these spaces are called sinusoids. And these are the sinusoids, which are spaces that are created within the erectile tissue that forms the structural component of the penis. These spaces are so created to allow the inflow of blood during the process of erection. And this is how it goes. During the process of erection, parasympathetic innervations are stimulated and this enhances the relaxation of these muscles. When these muscles are relaxed, the sinusoids are also relaxed so as to allow the inflow of blood. It also helps to expand the wall of the blood vessels. These are the blood vessels highlighted in red, and these are seen within the erectile tissue. And this is where the blood flows through and fills up these sinusoids, which are the spaces that are created within the erectile tissue. So as the inflow of blood occurs, and the sinusoids are filled up, there's going to be hardening of the penis. And this is called erection of the penis. Also for us to hard, if you look at the corpus spongineosum that is located at the inferior part, which is also seen with sinusoid, blood also filled into these spaces, but not at the same rate as what is seen in the corpus cavernosum. Why is this so? This is because we have the urethra running through the corpus spongineosum. If you look at the configuration up here, you see that this is the spongy urethra or the penile urethra. And you see it running along the length of the penis. In this image down here, the specific region of the penis where the urethra runs through is the corpus spongineosum. And this is the urethra highlighted in green. And in order to protect the urethra from damage, the rate at which blood flows into the sinusoids or spaces that are seen within the corpus spongineosum is not as high as what is presented in the corpora cavernosa. This is to protect the urethra from damage. As the hardness occur, if the rate of blood flow is the same as what is seen in the corpora cavernosa, the hardness is going to damage the urethra that is seen to run along the length of the corpus spongineosum. And this is why the rate is reduced in the corpus spongineosum. Thanks for watching this video. Let's continue to stay tuned to this station.